So hi guys, how are you all doing? And welcome back to my channel. My name is Chinya of Your Lifestyle Glam and you're so welcome to be here. Thank you for being a part of this channel. Thank you for being a part of this family. And if this is your first time here with me, well, thank you so much for being here. And of course, um, yeah, it will be wonderful if you get to subscribe to my channel as well, you know. So how are you all doing this beautiful um, autumn uh, afternoon? Right, so I am lucky. I have a couple of days off, so I decided to use that to, you know, try to keep up with, uh, <laughs> you know, um, my videos. So today I'm going to be talking about, I think I've never spoken about this before, and one of the reasons I've never spoken about this topic before is because I think or I, I, I was of the belief that, you know, people, people learn on their own journey. Okay. Um, but I watched, um, I watched a, an interview. It was a very short interview, five minute interview of Dami Lola Digbite. She's a Nigerian actress. She's hardly, she's not the public type. And she was having a discussion with Chude and, you know, that was a discussion, you know, and Chude asked her a question and she said, you know, sometimes love is not enough. So today's topic is love is not enough or is it? Now, again, you know, we are all individuals who have come from different backgrounds, different experiences. And whatever it is and the things that we imagine or happen to us in relationships or in a marriage translates differently. And everyone, you know, is in the same. Okay, first of all, I want to put that out there, that everyone is in the same. That said, you know, I want to just go to, because, you know, and I understand, you know, that in certain things, when it comes to relationships and when it comes to matters of the heart, there is always um, reason to you know, for privacy, except one who, um, you know, those who are willing to share, you know, whatever it is that is going on. But there is always that need for privacy to be able to, you know, uh, to protect. I think the whole idea is for protection, you know, of loved ones and, you know, let everyone, just let everyone be and let bygones be bygones, you know. Um, and I think that's pretty important and it's fair. So, yeah. So, first of all, we're going to start off with why, you know, certain people will think or assume, you know, that love is not, well, I will not say assume because assumption is the mother of all MFs, uh, of all FUs. So, I wouldn't say that it's an assumption, but I want to say that, you know, there are reasons why, you know, it could be an issue. And one of them, you know, according to my notes is, you know, I think it's expectations, you know, um, a lot of people, that's the first one, expectations. A lot of people go into relationships or marriages with expectations. They have a certain ideology of what the man should be or the woman should be. They have a certain ideology of how things should be. And, you know, not preparing yourself to understand that it could be different, not preparing yourself to understand that, you know, this person or whatever it is my ideology is, you know, may not necessarily translate to what this other person's ideology may be. So, you know, um, I want to take, for example, you know, myself and my husband. I recall when we first got uh, when we first got together, you know, I'm the kind of person that I believe that is very important that we show ourselves, you know, we need to show ourselves the way we are, you know, and I was, uh, yes, and I walked into that relationship with my own expectations and he had his own expectations okay like i've said it but my husband is a very very you know he's a very traditional man and you know i am Igbo, but i am not except i am not conk with tradition i am into culture you know but i also um the, I, I know that there are certain things that in culture that can and should evolve so i don't keep tabs on that but one of the things that he noticed about me was the fact that he noticed that I was somebody who was very forthcoming about my thoughts, my ideologies, what I thought, what for, you know, I had my own thinking. I wasn't conforming. Let me use that word. I wasn't conformative, you know, and he noticed that, you know, now from the drop of the hat, there were two things that could have happened. 
either I, you know, we go our separate ways or we continue on this journey, you know. So I think that's one of the things, the expectations, expectation, you know, of a certain thing, of a certain, um, of a certain um, lifestyle, of a certain way someone should be, you know. And I think it's also egoistic and downright arrogant to in think or impose or assume that you can impose your way of thinking or ideology on someone else without giving the person a chance to be able to, you know, be able to like say, okay, no, no, you know, that kind of a thing and allow to see, you know, allow to see or, you know, be open-minded about what could, what, what could this person bring to the table as well. So expectations could be one of them. Now, again, another thing, again, I want to really pinpoint on which brings me back to open marriages, Will Smith and, um, you know, um, Jada, Jada, Jada in most of the, in most of the interviews that she's had and recently in her last red table talk, she talked about happiness and it actually came up also in their, you know, when the, it all blew up with, um, you know, the Alsina story, you know, now she talked about that. And then she also made, you know, that you do not, and it's very true. You do not put your happiness on someone else. You do not assume that it is someone's responsibility to keep you or make you happy. And that is totally correct. And, you know, many a couple, you know, either in a relationship or in a partnership or something, you know, are, have gone that route thinking that this person makes me happy. Is it the fact that this person makes you happy or there are certain things that the person does that, you know, unconsciously may, you know, makes you happy or the person does unconsciously that you perceive that the person is making you happy. So for example, if you're the kind of person who enjoys going out, you know, I'm talking clubbing restaurants and all, and then you have a partner who says, okay, um, I noticed that my partner enjoys so and so and so, and says, okay, I want to make this happen for you. Now, this is the person going out of their way and saying, okay, I want to do this for you because it makes you happy. That's one thing. And then you make, you, you, you're happy because you like it. But what if you are with someone who is not, you know, again, who is not conscious of those things? What if you're with someone who is not conscious of the fact that, okay, there needs to be a sort of communication because she said that also in this last Red Table Talk that communication is something that she has to establish with Will and that it doesn't come easy and she's totally correct. And I think I've said this in my previous video. I'm going to put that video here. We talked about intimacy, sex and partners. And I talked about that. I said, for me, it was very important that I had to learn how to communicate as in, because again, I'm from Africa and where is that? There is an African side of things. And I had to put myself in that situation and say, I must be able to say what I want. I must be able to say what I, you know, what I need. And she talked about it and that is very valid, you know? And again, she says, it's not easy. And it's true. It's not because I've gone through it. I've passed through it. And I know it's not easy at all to be able to speak to someone and tell the person, oh, that this is something that I would love or I want or I need, you know, and for the person to accept it and say, okay, you know, and because this is not about the person, this is about you now. It's difficult. That communication, that being, and I mean, this is a relationship, this is a marriage that is spanning what, maybe 12, 15 years, I don't know. And she still talks about the difficulties in communication. And this is a valid point. So when you put your, if you assume or you think that somebody can make you happy or you put your happiness or you, 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 you decide to value your happiness on a relationship, okay, um, with someone, then you're in for a surprise. And again, we are working on our men being more sensitive to women. And we're also working, you know, and again, you know, we are also talking about people from, we, people from different backgrounds, different walks of life, you know, coming together 
and saying, okay, we want this to happen. We want this to work and we are working towards something. Okay. That's another reason. Another thing I would talk about is um, conflicting values. Again, if you remember, I talked about in the beginning of the video saying my husband noticed about me that I was somebody that my opinion really mattered and I was vocal about that. And he noticed that on the drop of a hat. But for him, you know, and this is not all men, for him, it was, um, it, it was, it was a character that he fell in love with. And it's not a, because it's not an act. It's, this is me. And he loved it. He, I, he liked it. Why? Because my husband was used to people, to him. This is me telling you that my husband, and I, and I knew, my husband was used to him calling the shots in his previous relationships. And I noticed. And I knew. But from the get-go, that didn't happen with us. And why it didn't happen, why I, why I think it didn't happen was because my husband and I started off as friends. We were friends first of all. So we had the opportunity to actually know each other as friends before any relationship came in. My husband was actually seeing someone. Do you understand? My husband was actually seeing someone and, you know, that was it. And I was actually, you know, like, okay, you know, he's seen someone, this relationship, you know, that kind of thing. I wasn't even, I wasn't, my headspace wasn't even there. We were just like regular friends. And then things changed. And I realized that, you know, he was, he wasn't talking, you know, he wasn't in communication with, in his previous relationship anymore but he was more in communication with me we used to do things together we used to go out together we went you know and this was friends doing things together so i believe that that was the time we had to be able to actually explore know and you know see things for ourselves and then until she got serious so you know to go back to what i was trying to say that you know one of the things that could lead to you know one saying oh you know, love is definitely not enough is, you know, when you have, when your values are different, when your values are not the same. Um, for example, you are somebody with, you know, again, let's go back to patri patriarchy. Okay. Especially in Africa and in Nigeria, where you have a lot of men who just assume and believe that women should be a doormat and she should be cared for, seen and not spoken, that kind of thing. This is 21st century. Yes, there are still men who think that way. Yeah. Yeah, it's, I'm not joking. There are still men in Nigeria. I'm not talking about other African countries. I'm speaking for my country, Nigeria, where I come from. There are still men who think that way. I want to give an example. There's this artist by the name of Zubi. Um, and... Um, this is very random, actually, because I just stumbled upon that tweet where an actress said something about women and she was, you know, her message was supposed to be empowering women. And then this artist who's called Zubi comes up and begins to trash talk, you know, her message. And then, and I loved her energy. And she goes back and says, listen, I said what I said, okay? Women today are no longer women of, you know, 50, 40 years ago. And this guy goes all, uh, well, I don't have words to just exchange with you. The person I have what to say to is your husband. Eh? The F on tree. Oh my God. The audacity. What? So in his head, she's not worth talking to, but he feels that speaking to her husband is going to put her in check. What the hell? I do what? I saw that thing and every form of respect, every form of thought I had for this guy just went, it, it disappeared just like that. It just went poof like that. I uh, like, yeah. What is not happening? What shall we not see in this world? So yes, there are still men who think that way in Nigeria. And so when, you know, you have someone 
whose ideology is that a woman is a doormat, a woman should not speak, and that if he has to speak to you, he has to speak to your husband. Eh, -eh as in, wow. Wait till Musano go see for gates. That was just, that's, that's it. So when you have, you know, or when you are in a, a relationship or, you know, or a, um, a, 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 a partnership with someone of such conflicting values, um, then you will be thinking very much about, you know, your stakes in 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 in, in that in, in in that relationship, and you know, again, I'm going to give another example. I've said it also in a previous video. Um, because of the way women have been, you know, because of patriarchy. Women find themselves, lots of women find themselves in a situation where they compromise so much so just for the sake and interest of being in that relationship. When you see yourself as a woman or as a man, when you see yourself all the time stifled or stifling your personality because of someone, it's time for you to kiss that um, relationship goodbye I just said that today I just spoke about that today with a friend of mine and she said, she said when you see yourself in that space where you totally become a different human being from whom you were on a regular in the name of being in a relationship or marriage except if you are fine with it okay because Again, I've said this before and I'm saying it again. I will never, ever, ever, ever advise anybody to divorce because it's your choice. I may have my opinions about what is going on, but the ultimate decision of a divorce is strictly your choice. The only place I will tell you, the only, and I've said this before, I will put that video you. The only place I will tell you is time for you to let watch in that relationship, in that marriage, is where abuse is concerned walk you lose nothing listen hit that whether it's man or woman hits you for any reason once it's gonna happen again walk i cannot even begin to talk about the statistics on that i've done so many videos and i'm going to attach it in this video here and some others i can't even walk Kiss that relationship goodbye. It's time to go. Okay? So when you find yourself in this situation, this could be a reason why you could say, oh, okay, listen, I love this person and it's not enough. I've also talked about a video where, you know, I also was in a video where I talked about the fact that, you know, baby, um, not, not baby mamas, um, boys who are attached to mommy's boys, it's a good reason to walk. You may love him for all eternity. It's a mommy's boy. Whoa, carry your slippers. Mm, 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 mm. Don't look back. No. I have a video on that. I'm going to put it here. Okay. Now, um, another thing again is being in a relationship and you don't see yourself, you know, evolving, moving. And I will tell you, me, you see here today, was not me 10 years ago. Was not me 20 years ago, 30 years ago, it wasn't me. And I will tell you that the journey to self, I have a video on that, I'm going to put it here. The journey to self is ongoing. You keep going, you keep going. The journey to self never stops. It just keeps going. And that means when you are with someone on that, your own journey to self, also that person is either with you or is not moving. There are so many cases. Cases of high-flying women who are, who, um, who are um, high-flying. I have so many cases. 
high flying, may able to do a million and one things, and then they get stuck with a man who feels threatened by their success, by whom they are, inferiority complex issues. Honey, you don't need to dim your lights for the sake of anyone, man or woman. Kings, queens, you don't need to dim your shine for anybody. You see, torch, when you put on a torch, switch it on, it shines. When you light a candle in a dark space, it shines. When you switch on the lights in a dark room, it comes up, it lights. If you find yourself in that dark room and you are the light there, and that darkness is not going away because you know when you light one you light that's what you know i'm a catholic so in the catholic doctrine you know the candle is significant is very significant and so when we have processions or you know during lent or you know there is a baptism everyone is given a candle and then by the fact that that candle when it's time for the profession of your faith what happens is the candle is lit once you light one candle, every candle begins to light the other. That's a message. When you find that that candle you're lighting is the only one and there is none other lighting around you, it's time to walk. It's time to kiss that space good, man or woman. And this is the reason why one would say, you know, love, there are things that I realize, or, you know, in this, as I've been speaking in this video, I begin to realize that there are so many things that are not just about love, you know. And this could be why, you know, one would say, oh, no, love is not enough. For some people, it is. For some people, they just don't care. They ignore. I'm, I'm, when I say that, I'm talking about our, foster, you know, old par our parents and parents' parents, you know. Let me say our parents, not our parents' parents, because our parents' parents, we are even more liberal, more... Um, you know, woke than we are today, and that's another just another day. I will tell you why. But our parents were of that, you know, ideology that marriage was forever. You don't quit. You don't this. You don't this. Relationships. Listen, that was not fifty years or a hundred years ago. No, we're in a new era now. So you know, if you see yourself in that situation, it's time to move. Um. And then we, there are so many of them. There are so many, and most of them are tied. That you're making, you know, when you're moving ahead, you're moving forward, and this person doesn't figure in your plans. There are so many, so many, so many reasons why. Okay? And you know, one would say that, um, you know, love is not enough. Okay? And in another situation, love could be. You know, so um, I'm I, I'm coming. To, you know, I don't want the video to be too long. So this is where I'm going to stop um, because I want you all to be parts of this conversation. I also want you all to leave your comments in the comment section below. This is what I think. This is what my opinion is. And if you have any other opinions to share, put them out in the in the, com in the comment section. Do not feel to like, share, subscribe, and. Um, like this video, thumbs up, whatever, do what you have to do. And until our next video, I'm going to see you all. Thank you so much for being a part of this family. Thank you so much for listening to me and have a wonderful, wonderful week. Bye-bye.